We can use bullets in Microsoft Word 2019 as well as numbering to emphasize and separate specific points. So I've got this document here and I'm going to go ahead and make some changes. So I want to separate that first sentence from the second sentence just so it doesn't mess up my formatting. And I'll highlight by left clicking and dragging over the first sentence. Now, if I go to the top under the Home tab that you see, right about the middle section here, I see Bullets and Numbers and Multi-Level Lists. So if I want to make this into a bullet, I'll hit the drop down, and I can choose from any one of these. Now, I must have recently chosen this option because it shows up under Recently Used Bullets. So I can either choose it from here or from here. It doesn't really matter. So I'll select that, and we've now turned that sentence into a bullet. If I want to do that with the second sentence, I can do the same thing and hit the drop down, choose the bullet that I want, and now it's done that as well. Let's say I want to move these all together. Well, I'm going to click with using my left mouse click to the left of the word the and hit the backspace key until it becomes part of the first sentence. Now, all I have to do, because this has been formatted with the bullet, all I have to do now is just hit enter and it automatically adds a bullet to that second sentence. If I did that with the third sentence, it would do that as well. And I'll hit enter, and now that's bulleted as well. Let's say I would like to change from bullets to a different type of bullet, other than the default. There's the circle, there we go. Or I could choose a square, or any one of these other options can also go in and change to define a new bullet. First off, I can change the alignment from left to center or right. I can also change the symbol. So I can click on symbol and choose any one of these symbols. Let's say I choose one of these starbursts and click OK and then click OK. That's another option. Let's choose another one as well. Go back into our define new bullet. This time we can use a picture. Let's type in the word bullet just for fun using an online picture. And we see lots of different bullets. Let's choose this one, click insert, click OK. And look at that. Now our bullets are actual bullets. There's some other options as well. If we go back into Define New Bullet, we can choose a symbol once again. And let's choose, we'll choose the greater than or equal to. Click OK. And now the font button lights up. We'll click the font and we can choose any one of these different fonts. Now this doesn't work with a picture. It only works if you're going to choose one of these uh, options here under Symbol. So we can see it's now going to change to the greater than or equal to sign. We'll click OK, and there it is. So I can certainly go in and change the size of that if I want to, just by going to the Define, click on Font, and choosing the size that I like. And we can see that the font gets bigger. Let's take this once further. I'm going to click the undo button until we get back to our starburst. There we go. Let's say that I want to have this second sentence or paragraph I should say and change that to a multi-level so I can click the drop down and choose the change list level so by default these are all going to be at the parent level but let's say I go down one and look at that it moves it over a little bit to the right and it changes to sort of a sub looking type of icon let's do that one more time and we'll do one more down further from that and we can see it now changes to a square. So there's lots of different options using bullets. We can create custom ones, we can use default ones, and we can create multi-levels. And that's all in Word 2019.